it is time for another battle of the ages, and, uh, well, I, I, I think I'm probably over-exaggerating a little bit right there, but, uh, yes, anyway, the point is, is that we are going to be fighting a couple of Delian League vassals here, and, uh, well, as you can see, my guys are doing, well, the, what they do, they do the best thing, what they do, I, actually, wh why are they, uh, why are they running away? Hey, guys, why are you running away? You don't want to run away, do you? And what are these guys doing? Okay. Uh, did I just send my guys in? Yeah, I think I just sent my guys in rather than... Uh, <laughs> I seem to be not be the leader. Yes, I am actually not the leader of this uh, particular contingent of units. So that is obviously not very good. Oh well, never mind. I, I suppose it's okay because I can actually then tell my guys to maybe have a little bit of a flanking action going on here. Maybe we can go around the around the back, around the side, and uh, maybe do some damage that way. Now, obviously, as you know from the previous episode, we gained a rather nice piece of armor, and I will hopefully be able to use that to best effect. I'm gonna... I, for some reason, I don't have the icons above, above the people's heads anymore, so I'm gonna just have to attack the people in blue, mostly. And we'll see if I can maybe get a couple of kills that way as well. Obviously, I would very much prefer it if we could. Oh, nice damage. Yes, good work. Good work, very nice. Some more damage is, is required, if you please. Now, obviously, what we're currently doing here is we are fighting a relatively large vassal with a whole bunch of Spartan vassals. So, basically, this is a... This is a win. This is a victory for us. I don't think I really have to worry too much about that because, well, let's face it, there's like, I think, 600 or 700 units here against the enemy's 200. So theoretically, we are absolutely fine and have nothing to worry about at all. But, you know, this is a great opportunity. This is one of those opportunities that I absolutely love because it means I can potentially get some experience. I can get some additional loot, and obviously, the, you know, the, the chess piece that we gained previously, that was from a similar battle, and that's definitely something that I would like to try and capitalize on, and obviously, as we go forward in the mod, we want to make sure that we have the strongest army in the land, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be the strongest, probably, because we don't really have the biggest army capacity. But that's, that, you know, that comes with time, you know, that comes with time, because at the moment, we obviously do not have a very large army capacity. I think we've got 112 or something like that, but that is very easily rectified by fighting battles, winning against the odds, and that means maybe what we could do is, uh, you know, raid a couple more villages and try and draw a couple, a couple of vassals over and then we might be able to do some damage to them that way. I'm actually going to just do some additional... Ah! I got poked in the face. That was uh, that was a bit harsh. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was hoping that I might be able to, you know, finish off a couple of those people there. But anyway, the point is, is that uh, maybe we can lure a couple of vassals over to us while we are raiding a village, because apparently that seems to be a really, really good way of getting some... Renown. It's basically like a renowned farm, so to speak, because basically what you can do then is you can have your units up against, well, basically the enemy's units, but in a, uh, in a smaller kind of scale, so it makes it a lot easier to achieve victory in that situation. And I think that, that that's fantastic. I mean, that's really, really good. So we'll try and do something like that. I am actually trying to eliminate a couple of people here. I did spec into strength for the most part. Where's my people, by the way? Oh, it seems like they've all died. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Hopefully these guys do not have a good amount of athletic skill. And uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Well, it was mostly not my people. So I guess that's the reason why we actually did get ourselves kind of outnumbered here. But that's okay. Because as you can see, the enemy only has, I would assume, about a hundred and... Mm, about 180 total, so they've already lost 82, so they, they just have another 100, but obviously we may have already eliminated most of their reinforcements, but I'd like to get a little bit more experience, if at all possible, so let's see. I have five infantry of my own in the battle here, which is just pathetic, really. 
I'd like to try and get into my own battles relatively quickly again because I'm I'm not a big fan of uh, sticking around with the Spartan vassals. If, if, you know, if it's a siege or something like that, then yeah, you know, I don't mind that. But doing it in a uh, situation such as this, it is, uh, you know, not 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 the best because. I can't really command them unless there is no other commander available and obviously there is so that makes things a bit more difficult and we are just going to continue walking back and forth here along the battlefield hopefully I'm not going to die no it actually seems like that is indeed it and they did not want to send in more reinforcements to assist their last their last people so that is indeed a victory for us it's not going to give me any renown whatsoever but the main reason why i'm doing this of course is for player xp so elias hopefully is, is going to be able to gain some experience from this maybe even level up from the passive experience that he may gain at the end of this and also some particular loot which would be rather nice anyway i did lose seven units there but nothing really too bad and as you can see there are still 52 enemies remaining i'm actually wondering whether i should tell my troops to attack because this is such an overwhelming advantage we might just want to eliminate them that way yeah there you go that was a lot easier than going through the whole back and forth on the battlefield once again so that's really quite nice anyway as you can see we're speaking to one of our generals here and we do get the opportunity to take this guy prisoner do i want to take him prisoner or do i want to let him go now personally i feel like letting him go is probably gonna be the thing that i will end up doing here because let's face it if i let him go i'm gonna get honor i'm gonna get relation and that's basically it but if i take him prisoner then i'm gonna get money and that's it and i don't actually need money right now because if we stay as a mercenary for the foreseeable future and then start investing in all kinds of weavery and dye works all over the place we are going to be rolling in cash before you know it so i am actually going to let him go i don't know whether that's a good idea probably not but i'm going to just go for it nevertheless because i kind of value honor above cash at the moment even though i actually <laughs> i don't have any cash yes that is a bit of a problem me not having any cash but uh Hopefully, upon uh, receiving my mercenary wages, that will be a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be taking these guys. I'm not going to be taking these guys any further. I am literally only now going to be recruiting units from towns, the uh, 20 troops for 2,000, and uh, anyone else that happens to die, then they just so happen to die, and that's just, you know, that's just how it's going to have to be. Ooh, nice. We got some better armor. Unfortunately... This is definitely something I am not too pleased about using. And there's obviously a reason for that. Uh, it's blue. <laughs> yes, it's blue, because obviously that indicates that we are a part of the opposing faction, which is really not the best thing ever, is it? So that is a bit of a problem. Anyway, as you can see, I went right into the melee right there. And uh, there's another melee going on here. You know what? I think I might actually try to... Oh, no, I don't want to go in there. I'd like to go in here, please. Okay. And I'm actually just going to order our troops just to go straight on in once again. We're just going to do an auto-resolve because this is going to end very, very much in our favor. We're going to get that vassal out of the way. And we are also going to free up all of our allies so they can then win in other areas of the map. So on a more strategic strategical scale then that is a lot better than uh, doing anything else and we do get a whole bunch of prisoners too which i'm very very pleased about so i'm going to actually try and find a ransom broker relatively soon because i'm thinking that that is going to help us out more than anything at the moment and let's actually see what's going on here so now as you can see because we finished that that battle so incredibly quickly we now have the opportunity to attack pericles himself who is, I believe, the leader of the enemy faction, I think. He, ten he tends to have the largest army, at least. So I'm just going to wait a little bit of time here. Wait, what's actually going on? Okay. Don't let him escape, guys. You can't let him escape now. That would be really, really bad. So let's, uh, let's wait until morning, because I'm obviously still kind of injured. And uh, let's go in. There we go. All right. So what we're going to... Whoa, th th yeah, th this is a lot. This is a very, very large amount of... You know, I'm actually just going to auto-resolve this too. 
there you go. He's, he's done. So let's see if we can maybe take him prisoner. Okay, so this might actually be someone that we want to take prisoner because he is, I believe, I think he is, the leader of the enemy faction. So I'm going to take him prisoner here. And we do have the opportunity to take a wide variety of prisoners as well, but obviously these guys are... Um, this guy is pretty good, so we might want to swap him out with this one. There we go. There we go. All right. I only have 20, 20 space for prisoners and things like that. But now that has cleared the way, that has cleared the way completely. There is another vassal over there doing battle with the Spartans, but they, well, I'm pretty sure they're going to die. And now, and now there is a crash, as you could no doubt hear. Ah, this is a bit of a difficulty, isn't it? Okay, so, yeah, we are being attacked by uh, some bandits. And as you can quite clearly see, <laughs> my my new companion, who I literally just recruited, got himself taken out. Oh, yes, I gave him a shield. I, I did give him a shield, by the way, so he should theoretically have been okay to stay alive. But, well... There you go. That's what happens. That is what happens. All right. So the uh, the crash actually did not do that much to uh, lose us progress. So that's pretty nice. But I am a bit worried about dying against these bandits because I literally don't have that much in the way of money anymore. Because this guy was 300 dinars and I have about 400 remaining. I think the bandits will usually take about 150 to 200 or something like that. So that's not a big deal. But, you know... It's definitely something that you don't really want to lose. Oh yes, nice. I actually really like the uh, death animations. I know that seems a bit weird to say, but I really like the death animations. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's go into the tavern here. I've been attempting to find a ransom broker. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, there's a traveler up there, but that's it. All right. Well, seems like I'm going to have to continue onward. I don't ha obviously have enough cash to be able to buy 2,000, you know, the, the 20 troops for 2,000. So I've basically just been going from tavern to tavern to tavern in Spartan territory, attempting to find a ransom broker. So that is, is kind of unfortunate, really. It's kind of unfortunate. Did I check Sparta? I don't know whether I checked Sparta, but if I didn't, then that makes me a bit of a fool. So uh, I might have, I might have, but anyway, I did find that new companion. He is a trading guy. He focuses mostly on trade skill. Uh, I don't know about his stats or anything like that because I, ha I actually haven't checked his stats or anything because I thought that we could do that on screen so you can you can actually see what he's all about. And is this is this a town? Oh, he escaped. Ah, oh, now I'm sad. Oh well, never mind. I suppose it was going to be quite obvious that he was going to escape because, you know, because he is just, yeah, that's him, you know, it's Pericles himself. So he's probably kind of good at that. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of disappointed now because I was really hoping that I would be able to get a very, very juicy ransom from him. But apparently that is not going to be. So, yeah, also, uh, it seems like they did not continue, by the way, with the Argos siege. So we are now, well, not back at square one, because I actually do have a number of pretty, pretty good, pretty good troops to sell to the ransom broker if, uh, if I can actually find one. Ooh, these guys are really good. Okay, yeah, these guys are really good. A, a lot of people told me that the Crete archers are really good, and I think it would be kind of cool to pair the amazing Spartan infantry with the extremely skilled Cretan archers. So maybe we can do something like that. I don't know yet because obviously I don't have enough cash to be able to pull it off. But hopefully when I do, we might get somewhere. So let's have a look. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to continue going to the town. See, I'm going into enemy territory, so this might be a bit bad. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually hoping that my mercenary wages will tick over relatively soon. I don't know where they are. But hopefully soon. Who's that? Is that is that a unique unit or is that a companion? Because 
most of the time I don't really know either way. It could just be, you know, a type of unit. No, it is not. It is a companion. Fantastic. Okay, so this is going to be a bit interesting because... Oh, okay. Never mind. Not interesting. I thought he was maybe going to uh, cost something, you know, because usually they do. But in this case, no. He was free. So what does he actually do? Well, this guy's injured, so we can't obviously see what he's doing. But this guy has nothing. This guy has nothing whatsoever. As you can see, he has just a regular spear. We'll give him a... We'll give him a shield, and he's just using regular stuff. The other guy is also using a shield and a spear of some kind. So he's, he's doing pretty well, I, I would say. I think the other guy is doing pretty well. I also gave him a new chest piece as well. So he is looking really, really good right now, apart from the fact that he doesn't have a good helmet. Okay, is that a ransom broker? No, but that is another companion, I think. As I said when I first started the playthrough, we are playing on realistic saving. We're playing with the recommended settings that the mod creator has laid out on the download page. And, uh, well, the one thing that I'm not going to stick to, because I'd kind of like to explore the... You know, the, the majority of companions. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to try and recruit as many companions as we can get our hands on. Maybe we'll limit it to like six or something like that. Because I know that the mod creator says, don't take more than two if you don't want to be super super powerful. And obviously I don't, I don't count myself as being super powerful right now. So we're, we're probably just going to see what happens. Oh, that was a, that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This is a battle advantage of minus seven. This is not going to go well. What can I say? This is not going to go well. I should have been much more careful next to a hostile town. But okay, we can, we can maybe do this. We can maybe do something here. Maybe we can just eliminate. I think we need to eliminate at least 10 of the enemy's units without losing a huge amount ourselves. And if we can do that, then we can retreat with no penalty, or at least very small penalties, and we can actually leave the battle and then escape in, uh, in terms of running the other way. <laughs> so hopefully that's going to work out. If not, we are probably going to suffer at the hands of our opponents. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh, this is... Mm, this is actually kind of good, because you can see here, look at this. We have a river, and this is going to make things very difficult for our opponents if they decide to go down into the river to begin with. Then, yeah, you know, that might actually be pretty good. But they might just decide to shoot at us, because uh, that's also an option. Okay, well, I've got one cavalry here. One cavalry is kind of... Well, a bit bad, considering he has no shield to speak of. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'm actually just going to stay here. Movement spotted on the horizon as our enemy decides to descend into the riverbank. This is not a good idea for them, in my opinion, but that's good for me. <laughs> that's good for me. Hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of it. And hopefully we won't get murdered by the time... They attack us. Oh, this is this is not good. This is not good. My, my positioning is awful. Why is my positioning so bad right now? I have no idea, but hopefully our guys will be able to start fighting back a little bit, please. I would like that. Bear in mind that if I do get murdered, then I will probably try to enlist in someone's army, and then maybe we'll, we'll see a little bit of action that way. Try and eliminate. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it seems like the ranged units have lost most of their ammunition, so that's really good. But unfortunately, it is making it kind of difficult for me to deal damage to the guys with the shields. Oh, my spear broke. That's okay. I've got another one. Yes, I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought I equipped another one. Did I not equip another one? Okay, well, apparently I didn't. I thought I did. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of weird. I really thought that I had another one equipped, but okay, that's kind of strange. 
Uh, maybe, uh, maybe my changes did not save when I had the crash or something like that. Maybe that was the case. That would be pretty awful. Okay, so how are we doing so far? I actually don't know. I would assume not well. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay, I'm actually gonna retreat. Yes, I can now leave. Okay, phew. Okay, I kind of saved the situation there, as you can see. And it would be my luck that I would go right into the only town in the area that is in control of... Oh, well, there's two towns in control by the Delian League, but oh well, never mind. All right, so I'm going to just head on over to the other Spartan town here. Hopefully I'm not going to get attacked. I might decide to attack a caravan, actually, because that might give me some cash. And I am really not going to... Ooh, this guy's also a trader. Anyway, I'm not really going to use their units at any point, I don't believe. So let's have a look here. And we're going to increase my strength once again. We're going to get some more power strike. I would like to be able to eliminate enemies extremely fast, if at all possible. So look, I actually do have... I do have two. And it didn't allow me to switch to it. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I need to have a different one. So it's slightly different <laughs> if you know what I mean because there are two different models then instead of it being the same the same weapon twice if you get my meaning so maybe that's a thing anyway I demand something from you hand over your gold and valuables now yes hand over your goods all right so let's do this it is 43 against 45 we might have a pretty bad time here we might end up losing but I think we'll be okay I mean, this is just a... Mm, is it a step up or is it a step down from raiding a village? I think raiding a village is going to be much more lucrative. I think that's definitely going to give you more cash and more valuables. But this is obviously going to give you experience at the same time. It's maybe a little bit less risky, I would say. It's definitely less risky. Cavalry, what are you doing? Get out of there. They actually have cavalry. So this is going to be kind of interesting to... <laughs> This is going to be very interesting to watch because we've not really fought cavalry before and us having a phalanx shield wall formation right here is making things very amusing for the enemy, that's for sure. So this is obviously going to be kind of bad for me because I'm getting murdered in every single way at the moment. So maybe I'll just, uh, just take some damage here, get my uh, shield wall guys to come back and oh yeah, nice stab. Nice stab to the abdomen right there. Maybe we can do a little bit more. Or maybe we don't need to. Maybe we don't need to. Look at that. Oh, nice damage. Yes. Okay, so yeah, that kind of put paid to their ability to win this battle in my opinion. And uh, thankfully my cavalry has gotten himself eliminated now. I, I know, I know, you, you may be asking, why are you, why are you happy? Why are you happy about your cavalry being, cavalry being eliminated? Well, it's probably because it messes up my formations for some reason. I think it's probably just because they uh, they have particular little sectors and sections on the battlefield that they obviously occupy. And if you are selecting both of them at the same time, then they will generally tend to obey one particular formation set. And uh, I think the mod creator actually did say in the comments of one of the previous episodes that if you sort out your formations and things, you can actually get them to be automated. So you can basically have your units go to a certain point on the map that they can, you know, they can follow you automatically. They can do something like that. And basically then you'll still have a great degree of control over your formations and make them even more efficient than they already are. Of course, the only problem with not having any cavalry is the fact that we always have to run after the stragglers that abandon their posts and flee like cowards. Ah, yes, well, anyway, six renown right there. How many pieces of loot? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's particularly worth it, but these tunics you can actually sell for a pretty decent amount. So I don't really think that that's too bad, but obviously it is better to go for a village. It is just straight up, you know, just straight up better. But if that's all you can get your hands on, you're going to get some experience, you're going to get some cash, and it, I think it's 
Is it easier? I don't know. I don't know whether it's easier, but I think it is a definite viable option for those of us that don't necessarily want to get murdered by passers-by because, well, let's face it, you can get ambushed very, very quickly and very easily in this mod. All right, so there's another 2,000 dinars for us right there. I can recruit local soldiers as well if I, if I want to. And you know what? Maybe they'll have a ransom broker here. That's the main reason why I headed over here in the first place, because I thought they might have a ransom broker. I was unable to find one in any of the other towns in Sparta itself, which i got to say is kind of weird, because I think I found one pretty easily in... Mm, one of the one of the towns nearby to Sparta itself. Let's hire these guys. There we go. Alright, that seems good to me. And uh, let's level up a couple of people too. There we are. And oh, look at that. Elias has actually leveled up too. Alright, so what are we gonna do now? Well, agility, I think, is definitely on the cards for us because I would like to be a highly mobile spear user as much as possible. Because obviously, if you don't do that you're going to be outrun basically all the time. And that's definitely something I don't want to have. So we'll we'll see if we can maybe improve that. Oh, look at that. It is time for the feast to conclude. Ah, well, that's good. That is good to know. Am I being, am I being attacked? Oh, okay. Phew. I was a bit worried there for a second that I was being attacked. Okay, who's that? Can I see who that is? Oh, that's a named unit, I think. So I'm going to go up there and see if it's a companion. He's probably going to be pretty expensive so i will most likely not be able to recruit him but who knows no nope, no nope, it's actually not even a companion it's just a bunch of mercenaries which i think would be really good to take but i currently don't have a huge amount of cash so it's definitely something i won't be doing right now all right so let's see here whoa that guy has 636 in his army what a crazy guy that is a crazy crazy guy okay so is this a ransom broker no, that is a traveler, and that is a uh, more mercenaries. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't ask the travelers where the ransom brokers are either. And it seems like that my search for the ransom broker uh, has gone completely cold for some reason. I have gone to the this town, this town, this town, this. Okay, so let's have a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And did I go here? No, I did not go here. So I've gone to literally 12 towns and I have been unable to find a ransom broker. That is not good. Very much not good. So you know what? I'm actually going to go back here and maybe they will have a ransom broker or something along those lines. Because I don't think I'm going to get super hardcore paid for these, uh, for these prisoners, but... If I do get additional prisoners, then I would like to be able to take them, because obviously I don't have enough space at the moment to be able to do that. So let's go into the tavern here and take a look. Is that a ransom broker? No, that's a traveler. And that is a mercenary group once again. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I am actually just going to end this episode here. And uh, I'm going to ask you, what do you want to see me doing next? Would you like me to attack an enemy vassal? Because maybe, maybe that can, maybe that's doable. Maybe that's doable. After I sell my prisoners and after I get my mercenary wages, I might be able to get another 20 troops. And then we're going to have a pretty sizable army of good strength. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's doable. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.